What's up gems? I'm Jamelia and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers, welcome back you guys. I shall waste no time. Let's get straight into the video. Y'all know I always gotta read the title. Almost always. What are all these things popping up on my phone? What's something your friend hmm, did that made you realize they are not your friend? I got stories for days. Let me tell you. But um, first things first, if you have a story time that you feel comfortable sharing about that moment, you realize your friend was not your friend at all. Had nothing but bad intentions. Nothing but negative and just yuck. Comment down below. If not, you can also DM me if you're not comfortable, which is totally fine. And we can talk about it through there. That's 100% okay. But let's get into it. Yeah, here we go. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no longer your friend? So in high school, I had a boyfriend and this friend of mine was a very pretty girl, super attractive, but she was also one of those girls that really liked male attention. Just because I introduced you to my boyfriend does not mean y'all become besties. I am not okay with that. That's just me setting a boundary. I'm not somebody and that's who's fine. jealous if my friend says hi to my boyfriend, talks to him, or hugs him, but that's a little weird for you to want to be that close to my man. But one day she decided to text my boyfriend on her own time. I didn't know about it and he didn't say anything to me. So that's why he trashed. And she said, can you go off campus today and buy me some Starbucks? Blah, 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 blah. Ladies, he didn't even do that for me. And I was his girlfriend. I told her how bothered I was about that. And I even cried and sobbed in front of her. Ugly face and everything. And all she said to me was, well, what do you want me to do about that? I said, I can't stop you from talking to my boyfriend. But as my friend, I expect you to make the right decision. She kept it up, so I cut her off, and she wonders why I won't speak to her. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize Not they are no longer your friend? I'll go first. So basically, it was this girl, right? She, you see me, you see her. Like, we was real kiki. And long story short, I've been peeping the game like she was playing me, but I said, you know, she got one more time. I even so... One day we was playing Uno with these boys and she liked one of them or whatever and she had the nerve, the audacity. So I had red hair at the time, but I had, it was my junior year, I wanted to try something different so I got like a blonde weave. But like my nigga naps in the kitchen and all that in the back was like showing my red hair, but it was like three weeks. So it was like, of course. Long story short, she turned around and was like, touched my back of my hair and was like ew whoever did your hair need to like lose their license like why is your red hair sticking out the audacity in front of these boys like you like them okay but what they gotta do with me <laughs> trying to make yourself look cute she was cut off what's something your friend did to off. you that made you realize Girl. they are no longer your friend okay so i saw this i don't like folks like that don't try to embarrass me because you like a little boy a boy a man whatever don't try to play with me don't be disgusting in front of company, okay? Don't act brand new. The fuck? Don't do that. I have to share my story. So I had a friend who was living with me and okay. obviously when you're living together, you become super close. So she ended up becoming my best friend. We were living together for about a year and a half. And during that time, I introduced her to my entire social circle. I introduced her to all of New York City all the events, everything I used to do, I would bring her with me. She was my ride or die. At some point, I actually hired a guy. He was an intern and I gave him a job, full-time job at my company. And then I introduced him to her. They ended up becoming boyfriend and girlfriends and later getting engaged. When she to this guy, I was helping her out in, with all the festivities. So at some point she asked me to come early to the wedding to help her do her hair and makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm happy to help because she's my girl. So I tell her, you're cutting it close because you want me there at 12, your wedding's at three, I'm not gonna have enough time to get ready. And she goes, right. you're not coming to the wedding, you're not invited. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no longer your friend? Back when your girl was an accountant, I tried to be friends with other accountants. This girl had been in my house. I had taken her to and from work. Like, I had given her. She had had money for me, okay? We were friends. And so, one day, I'm out on the floor accounting. Like, I'm living life. She's back in the dressing room. We had this little clothing lady in me, and she is sitting at the clothing lady's little thing, and mm -hmm. they check the camera. Why does this girl steal something from the clothing lady? So... 
they go through her locker. I don't know any of this is going on because I'm still out on the floor. And they don't know any, uh, I don't know this is going on. They check her locker. They didn't find the thing. So they called me to the back because she told them that she gave it to me. I had been doing my job. <laughs> I was doing my job. So I was like, no smoke. Like, I'm going to open my locker, blue, blue, blue. And she goes to, like, she's still at the manager, like, crying, telling a bold face lie, like, crying, saying that I took this. And I'm like. So, at the end of the day, they, like, ran the cameras all the way back. And they found that she stuck it in, like, a completely different locker that she was not using that night. And they found the dress. She got fired. Uh, management apologized to me because, like, I didn't bother anybody. Like, I still don't. And, Yeah and we are no longer friends, so. You tried to blame her for your sticky, icky fingers, bitch. The nerve of you. Like, you know damn well she didn't take that dress. Yo, keep your icky fingers to yourself. You wouldn't have no problems if you just keep your fingers to yourself. I was like 20 at the time, so. Are you not 20 now? What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no longer your friend? Story time. So when I was 19, I had this boyfriend. We dated for like two <clears throat> years, I think. So like towards the end, he treated me like utter shit, like horrible. It was like very uh, ab abusive to say the least. And my friend witnessed this all because she would be with me if we had like parties and whatnot. And so I finally like get the courage to break up with him after he poured beer on my head at a bar. After I explicitly said, if you pour beer on me at this bar, I'm literally done with you. It was so dramatic. Oh my God, so dramatic. And so then like a week later, she starts hanging out with them and like all of his friends, like my group of friends that I'm literally mourning the loss of. Literally all my friends from high school. And then one day she comes over, maybe it's like a month after. Yeah. And she's telling me about this first date. She's going to go on to this like pizza place that I love. And I was like, oh, he really likes that pizza place. And I got weird vibes. Come to find out, I predicted that they would be dating. She calls me and tells me she's in love with him. And then they got married on my birthday. So I'm happy for them though. They deserve each other. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no longer your friend? So me and my friend had an argument and talked for weeks. And so she called me and told me she missed me and she wanted to see me and she wanted us to link. And she wanted me to meet her new boyfriend. So I'm like, cool, y'all come scoop me, we'll chill. Or whatever like that. We always argue, but it never lasted for long. And so when they came to get me, I realized that the car was different, but they said it was a rental. When I got in the car, it was a little boy in the back. Because I hadn't met her boyfriend, she had told me that the little boy in the back was his son. I'm like, okay, he's cute. Whatever. We get in the car, we have a good time. We ended up getting into a high-speed chase with the police and a helicopter. Hit a white lady on the highway. Ditch the car and run away. I end up leaving a couple months. Baby, but why does the story keep escalating? Wait a minute. Uh, Y'all went from high speed chase to hitting an old lady to helicopters. Let's not forget the helicopters. Okay. Okay. You hit the, the little old lady. Okay. How did we get there? And baby, it's, it's definitely not your fault. I just want to know how they got there. You know, how'd we get there, my love? What's going on? What's what's happening? Later to go to DC. A month after I moved, the FBI came to find me to ask me why I was in a stolen car with an abducted child. Needless to say, and that's how we got there. An abducted car with an abducted child. Hmm. They were not friends anymore. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no longer your friend? <laughs> she slept with my boyfriend at the time in my house. Not on my bed. No. In front of me. No, no, no. While I cried. No? On my birthday. No. What's something your friend did to you that made you realize they are no, no. longer your friend? This was not the moment, but it was definitely the no. beginning. When I got into the university that I was really hoping to get into, they didn't show any kind of excitement or happiness or pride for me at all. They actually stayed very 
kind of petty and condescending until they got their letter. Like until they got their letter, all I heard was how my faculty is so easy and useless and everyone gets in and you can be the, like the dumbest person. You don't even have to try to get in. It's just that easy. But that their faculty was actually important and hard and they actually took their admission seriously and that's why their acceptance was taking so long. For months until they got their letter, they were just really fucking mean about it. And then when I went to Greece for the summer and my friends there saw that I got into the school I really wanted to get into, they were so fucking happy for because me. they were Seeing your friends. Was the first time that I allowed myself to be proud and happy of something that I had accomplished because that other person kept tearing me down. So that was huge. What's something your friend did to you that, that made you realize they are no longer your friend? My best friend of 10 years at the time, uh, <laughs> my god. <sighs> Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't get fear of abandonment from platonic friendships. <laughs> After two and a half years of living together, she tells, sits me down and tells me crying that she has lupus and that she has to go to Colombia to go get treatment because treatment is too expensive here in the States. Okay. So she moves out. I send her a WhatsApp message after she leaves. Doesn't go through. Go on her Instagram, not really seeing the profile. Facebook profile deleted. Because I know that people handle news of disease in different ways, I started to get really worried. So I commented with a mutual friend that we had and he said no. Her social media, her Instagram is right here. What do you mean? Turns out she never had lupus, never went to Colombia, and blocked me on absolutely everything, including Venmo, because that bitch still owes me money. So if you're seeing this, it's una malagradecida. What's something your friend did to you? We're gonna end it right there. If you know what she said down below, would you like to translate that down in the comment section? Jeez, um, because you owed me money on Venmo? Yikes. That's, that's bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna make this a, uh, a two-part video, you guys. And again, with the next video, we're most likely not gonna watch the full thing, but a majority of it. And, um, if you've, <clears throat> my voice. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for kicking it with me. I do appreciate you guys more than words can explain. Whether you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, just thank you so much. And um, I hope you guys are having a lovely, beautiful, productive, amazing day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in part two. Bye, guys.